Okay, hey, welcome to Dow Stock Talk. In this particular video, I'll be giving you an update on my Arrived portfolio. If you're not familiar with Arrived Homes, Arrived Homes is a platform that allows you to invest in real estate. A lot of it is residential and they have vacation rentals as well. But before we get started, make sure you smash the like button because it helps the YouTube algorithm. It helps the YouTube. <laughs> Let's try this again. But make sure you smash the like button because it helps the YouTube algorithm. It helps YouTube know that this quality content and help my videos reach a broader audience. Now, like I was saying, this is a real estate investing platform that allows you to invest in real estate buying shares. Now, if you want to see a more in-depth video, make sure you check the suggested videos. And also, if you want to know other alternative investments, make sure you check the suggested videos. But no further ado, let's look at my portfolio. So this is my portfolio. Clicking on my portfolio. As you can see, the balance is $755.40. All time I've gained $55.40 and as you know all time is just based off of appreciation price and for my rental income it's $8.80 on average I add a dividend yield of 3.90% per year so the rental income it actually goes straight to your uh, bank as you can see the last dividend for quarter 3 2022 uh, $4.40 and all previous dividends $4.40 as you can see rental income all time uh, Withdrawals from arrived and sent to your linked bank account which I confirm they did and it says we pay dividend quarterly based off of your percentage of your shares owned and uh, and rental income generated by your property these are realized gains and deposits directly into your bank account. Therefore, it is not included in your portfolio balance. And that's why you see the $55.40. And for the balance, is $55.40. And they're just letting you know that the dividends is not included in the balance of your portfolio. Okay, so my initial investment was $700. I will, I would like to say is one of the things I don't, oh, they even have it where you can, Oh, that's cute. They have it. Uh, by the way, make sure you guys hit that like button. And if you guys have any questions, make sure you drop it in the um, comments below. One of the things that I don't like about it, I would like to reinvest my dividends from my rental income to me, especially if I have a smaller account, like $8.80. What am I going to do with that? So I just prefer to reinvest it right back. Apparently, they don't have that particular feature which you would have to do is once you actually get the money you have to put it back into a particular property but I would like it maybe I should even talk to them about having where you can reinvest your dividend I would definitely appreciate it even if it was just like okay once your dividend reach a certain amount they can just automatically reinvest it because a lot of the other crowdfunding platforms real estate crowdfunding platform allows you to do that like fundraise and stuff like that so that's their kind of competitor and I have seven properties I'll go over each particular one um, but yeah I'm definitely going to talk to them uh, about that and see if they can change that that's one of the things and uh, you know I was hoping maybe get some qualified dividend or something like some kind of tax efficient thing because with the rental income you know it's i just rather have it where you can just reinvest it, all the dividends back into your portfolio but enough of that so these are seven properties i have i have location um i try to spread it out in different particular areas i have one in north carolina one in south carolina one in Alabama as you can see I intentionally picked different locations different states Tennessee uh, Indiana and Arizona and I also have one in California now let's go over each one well before we go over each one for rental income two dollars and sixty cents from this one um, for this one three dollars and eighty cents for the the dogwood 80 cents from rental um the dolly 80 cents from rental uh indianapolis 80 cents from rental the ace well that dividend first comes in january 2023 as well as this one but for the first one it looks like for the rental income 2060 cents and the equity 
I got is up 27.9%. So I gained $27.90. But let's click, let's view that and view this property. As you see, I, they make you have get 10 shares. So it's $100 minimum. So of course you'll get the 10 shares. And I like this snapshot. It kind of tells you everything that you kind of need to know. Um, the transaction, December 27, 2021, $100. Rental income, $2.60. It shows you the dividend yield 3.5 and the equity. So let's kind of view this um, particular property. Um, this is actually a really nice house. A, um, really nice house. Actually, I would probably like this for myself. Let's see what the, let's look at a little bit. So right now, as you can see, when you initially buy them, they're $10. But since it increased in value, that's why you see the share is now $12.79. I just like to explain this stuff so people will kind of know this layout. We already went over that. By the way, there's 139 uh, different investors. Investors invested 103 thousand a hundred and three thousand dollars a hundred and three thousand and seventy dollars as you can see this property is actually 65 percent of that is leverage the purchase price was two hundred and ten thousand dollars for a house like this is actually pretty nice um i'm not sure about you know the location maybe houses I'm, i know houses are much cheaper um down south but um, as you can see, this is what they're kind of projected historically. Property equity return 13.2, rental dividend yield 3.2. I normally try to get the uh, historical annual return of over uh, $10. As you can see, this is definitely a leverage property, meaning they kind of bought it on debt. So it can be a lot more risky, especially if the value of the house drops. And this is in um, uh, North Carolina. Let's see as far as improvements, cash reserves, closing costs, blah, blah, blah. So the total came up to be $239,570. Property loan amount, $136,500. And the equity raised from investors, $103,070. As you can see, finance is 65%. Interest rates, they got a pretty good deal. Um, and just that information and it shows actually this is something new i don't think i've seen this this is shows the breakdown of rental income operating expense um, financial costs their fees and it kind of breaks all the total down this is actually the first time i've seen that so that's um pretty good so let's go back and see look at the second property it's the second property this one the Vernon, I hope I pronounced that correctly. This one, the dividend yield is 5.1 and the house appreciated 27.5%. That is good as well. So let's click on that. Once again, we've seen that. Let's, oh, this is a nice house too. Very nice. Very nice. These houses are actually really nice. <laughs> so we went over that part. Original, oh, this one is on leverage too. So the leverage ones, I would consider them a little bit more risky because, it, you know, um, a lot of it was taken out of loan, meaning borrowed money. So the good side is it gives you the opportunity to uh, earn more money. But the bad side is if the house um, decreased in value, it would definitely uh, alter and mess up your returns. Um, as you can see, this one is... Uh, leverage one as well um, leverage ones tend to have a much higher return as you can see when I say leverage it means that most of the more of the a lot of the property was um, provided with a mortgage loan versus then with investors money so if it's all investors money a lot of times you don't have to worry about paying back the loan and stuff like that so the house is already kind of paid off so if you had it for like a you know a much longer time it'd be much lower risk this one if the housing market was to crash per se, you would kind of be SLO. <laughs> SOL. All right, so we went off of that. This one shows the operating cost. And they actually you see, looks like they just did something they added recently new. Okay, so let's go to the third one. Um, the vacation rentals. I think the last two of mine are vacation rentals. Okay, so the third one, the dogwood, let's click on that one. As you can see, 
I don't want to make this video too long. Um, but as we can see so far, I believe I have two leverage properties. Let's see this one. Um, yeah, you can see that. Let's scroll down and see for this one right here. What type of, oh, this one has no leverage. So like I said, look, look, this is for property leverage. It says leverage is borrow capital or debt to increase the potential return of your investment. Leverage works to advantage when real estate value rise, but it also leads to losses if value declines. Now let's look at this. Relative to other properties on the Roth platform, this property may carry lower potential for equity returns, but also carries lower potential for volatility given the amount of leverage used in the property, which is zero. So I just kind of like to keep you guys informed. Investment volatility refers to the range of the value between a particular asset might move between as an example higher volatility might mean higher potential movements up and down in the value of the investment over time let's see investors put up two hundred eighty thousand two hundred eighty thousand six hundred twenty dollars okay and property purchase price so this one seems like after all it did some repairs here closing costs their fees 280 um, that's not bad at all investors pretty much cover this completely as we can see now and this one I noticed they didn't have the breakdown of the um, particular cost I wonder what was up with that not particularly sure okay but um let's go to the so we did the dog dolly so this one let's see okay market for rent okay so um this one is actually these are actually some really nice homes though, I must say. All right, so let's go down here. Now for this one, it says waiting evaluation. So it says share price value is updated six months after initial property funding at the next quarterly update. After that point, share prices are updated each, qu each quarter going forward. So I have to wait into, you know, the six months and the next quarter that where they update so I'll guys definitely keep you guys posted but right now I earn 80 cent from uh, dividend and this purchase oh wow the purchase price for this one is six hundred ninety thousand dollars of course they end up um, I kind of showed this earlier in my earlier videos so this one is zero leverage as well so I try to pick ones with leverage and without leverage to give you guys the you know the overall experience of what you can so totally the property cost in this one was 700 this is pretty expensive I mean I don't know the prices what is this in where is this property in Arizona Tennessee probably is actually in Tennessee all right so um, but let's go to the next one this one is Indianapolis. This one is also at 80 cents, but I'm waiting for the uh, evaluation to, which is updated every uh, six months. So I'm kind of waiting for that one as well. I think I covered all of the ones I really wanted to cover as far as, but the last two, um, these two are vacation rentals. And these haven't, these are the most recent ones. Um, I personally, I think about maybe two months ago, we'll have to see. Um, yeah, so this is that transaction. Um, really no updates on, on this one per se. Really uh, no updates at all. And this particular one, they just have for rental. This is the information they gave us. Um, for that one and my last one this one's in Cali um, you know same thing all right and let's what I'm also I'm going to do is I'm going to see let's click on transaction so you can see when all the payments was settled this one's December 27th, February 1st, January 1st, July 28th, July 28th. So a lot of these were actually settled this particular year. There was only one that was settled the um, last year. 
Now as we go to um, invest, let's look at the properties that they have right now. They have a filter button as well. So let's go to the ones that's for sale. Let's see how many they have now. So for, is net, for sale now they have seven. This is a vacation rental, vacation rental. This is a long term rental. Uh, this long term rental, vacation rental, vacation rental. And this is a new property in Cincinnati. So okay, now let's look at coming soon. What they have for coming soon? Take that off for a second. Just put coming soon. All right, all right. So coming soon. It looks like they don't have anything for um coming soon. And but that pretty much concludes this video, guys. I think I showed you guys everything that you wanted to see. Actually, let me click on. Oh, so it looks like they have ones where it says great schools. They can have properties around great schools if that's what you would um, focus on. They have a section where it's heavily focused on appreciation. And this is kind of like how they break that down. Newly built. Um, yeah, vacation rentals. And of course, all. But that pretty much concludes this video. Let me guys know what you think. If you haven't already, make sure you hit the like button. If you're new, make sure you subscribe to my channel. Ah.